Hi guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we talk about YouTube and things that you can do to help grow your channel. And this video is part of an ongoing series of apps that I've been using to edit and make thumbnails on my phone. And so I only show you the ones that I think that have promise that I think are user friendly. I went through a whole bunch that I said, oh no, I'm not, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> so I hope this helps you. And if you have any favorites, leave those in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you get the next video that comes out and I'll speak to you soon. Let's get right into it. The first app, Pocket Video, took me a little time to get used to, actually more than a little time, to be honest. But once you do, it does work well for video. So you begin by selecting Start a New Project and choosing YouTube Vlog. You add your media by clicking the plus sign at the bottom and then choosing Camera Roll. Select your clips and choose Done at the top. You will see your clips in the timeline at the bottom. In this case, I want to reorder the clip, so I drag the second clip to the start of the timeline. The action in this clip is too slow for this project, so I choose speed from the tools menu and select fast, and that is better. I also want to shorten the clip, so I choose Trim from the Tools menu. I can now drag the in or out points to where I want them. Click the check mark when done. To add a transition, select the first clip and choose the transition tool. In this case, I choose the push transition and then move the slider towards the rabbit to make it faster. Next, we will add some text by choosing the text tool and clicking add to add a new text element. You can choose from a number of text overlay templates and once selected, we can drag and resize. Tap on the text to edit. Select your font to change the text style. Select Q to edit the in and out points, which again, I appreciate that I could find this because sometimes that's hard to find on these apps. It's the details. Next, we add an intro title by selecting the pink plus sign and choosing title. Select the style, enter your message, and position the size as desired. All that's left is to drag the title to the start of the movie if it's too long, choose Trim to shorten it a bit. Next, add a dissolve transition from the title to the first clip. We can also add a sticker by clicking the plus and choosing sticker. Here I select a green alien for the corner. You can also use the sketch tool to draw freehand on the clip. Let's put a little circle around our alien friend. If you want to add music, click the orange plus sign on the music track in the timeline. Now we're all done. Click the finish button at the top and choose save to camera roll. And we can see how the finished movie looks. Intro mate. This is one of my favorites. I might just use this in my intro to show you, but as you know, I like apps user friendly, and this does the trick. When you start Intro mate, the first step is to choose a template. Next, we start replacing the template elements with our own content. Click the color control to alter the color theme. Choose the text control to customize the various text elements. Make sure you adjust the text size and spacing as well. Click the music note to change music, and in this case, I'll leave the default music. Click the first icon to choose images or video, and that's all there is to it. Now we can click the export button at the top of the screen, select the desired settings, and click export. And here is the finished product. 
If you want more videos on how to grow your channel, don't forget to subscribe, you guys. If you need an, a snack right now, go and get one and then come back and we'll continue. You may have also noticed that I used a different intro today, which is from the speed template on this app. Super easy to use. Thumbnail maker. So this is a good app to start. I could use this for making thumbnails, so can you. You start by clicking the camera icon and choosing an image to add the thumbnail. You can change the layout by choosing a template. Here I will choose a two image template. Now I need to reposition the first image on the left side. I can drag and rotate the image. Click the camera icon on the empty part of the thumbnail to select the second image to add. Once again, we drag and resize until it's just right. Click the text tool at the bottom and enter a title. Customize the text color and style by selecting from the displayed options. You can drag, rotate, and resize the text as well. Click the sticker tool on the menu to further customize. If you change your mind, which I do, <gasps> click the X next to the sticker and it will be deleted. Choose the paintbrush to add a freehand drawing. You can click the layers icon on the very top to edit previously added layers. Here I'm using this technique to move the text into a better position. And when all done, click the right arrow at the top of the screen and choose to save pictures. If you have any favorite apps, please leave that in the comments below and I will talk to you all soon.